Gordon, I know you focus a little bit more on the U.S. market, so let's start there. Just given the fact that we've seen bond markets are breaking out uh, starting in the month of June, uh, is there further more in this sell-off? Uh, and overall, is there a concern now that central banks across G10 are overdoing it in terms of tightening? Sure. First of all, uh, we believe that the Federal Reserve will only hike one more time as opposed to the dot plot uh, back in Ju their June meeting, showing two more points, uh, two more hikes uh, of 50 basis points. Uh, the reason why we think uh, this is uh, going to be the case is because the Fed actually has an incentive to tell the market they, that they are not overly, you know, they, they focus on the uh, inflation problem and they want to sound hot but it's not the case. After all, the federal, uh, the overnight Fed funds rate minus the CPI now is already showing a real interest rate of 1%. And that is actually restrictive enough to bring inflation back down to the inflation target. We believe the Fed will you know, maintain that it's very good inflation fighting credibility. And on the other hand, on the uh, Treasury yield, actually, uh, from the current level, 3.85%, we do not think that uh, it will go all the way up to 4% plus, because asset owners in, the, in this region, they are very interested to add on to the Treasury holdings and also to the U.S. investment grade market, because uh, on a 5.6% you know, uh, all-year basis, holding for a duration of about seven years, actually, it is a very good uh, as risk-adjusted return for this uh, single A credits. Okay, now, Gordon, would you go down the, the credit spectrum then um, and, and go, go further up in terms of, uh, of duration? Uh, for Chinese uh, insurers, uh, we are very concerned on uh, good credits. So uh, because uh, our okay. regulator, the CBIRC, uh, requires triple B minus above. So uh, we are very happy with investment grades. Uh, what about in terms of positioning around Back to you you. Know, sovereign bonds and the treasury market here right mm -hmm. now? I mean, where in the curve do you focus on the most? <laughs> in fact, uh, Obviously, the short end versus the 10 year sector, it is uh, in a negative, you know, uh, curvature minus 100% or, or more. In fact, uh, that is also reflecting the short end tightness in the Fed policy. On the other hand, actually, in the local currency market, we see a lot of opportunities. For example, in our Chinese government bond market, yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, the 2.85% in the 10-year CGB, in fact, is a very good uh, investment from a risk, uh, from a currency hashed basis. Because, uh, for example, if for a U.S. dollar-based investor, if they sell by dollar, buy sell uh, renminbi in the short end, they can actually get a, you know, buying the 10-year CGB and then adding this uh, currency hedge benefit. It can yield more than 5%, you know, buying the CGB in, if they, you know, measure it in U.S. dollar term. So that is actually a very good investment for U.S. dollar-based investors to look at these uh, Chinese bond governments and also actually for other local currency market as well.